there's another feeling among common Kashmiris, whether it's Muslims or Hindus or Sikhs, the feeling is that they are tired of seeing violence because they've been witnessing this for about 70 years now. Khaliji, this may seem more of a hypothetical question, a philosophical question rather, but will Kashmiris ever achieve peace? And if they were to achieve peace, how do you think that is possible? Well, um, hypothetically, I would say, yeah, um, every nation has to has a right to peace, and this is this is our birthright. Um, but the question is that will they ever achieve? Yeah, as long as uh, uh, the, I mean, there are two 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 sides to this this uh, answer. I would say, the first of all is that uh, you have a you have a country on on your border which. Uh, uh, which is a security state, which is a garrison state, and basically uh, army is running that country. And for the last 74 years, Pakistan army had only one reason to exist actually, and that was Kashmir. So, so since uh, a child is born in Pakistan and starts going to school or madrasa, they, they hear that Kashmir is the, uh, you know, Shahrag of uh, Pakistan and uh, we will all, I mean, the, the, the India is a uh, occupier and we have to, right. uh, we, we have to release uh, uh, the Kashmiris from this uh, occupation. This has been the core point, core uh, standing point of the Pakistan army and the state and the establishment for the last 70 plus years. And mm -hmm. all the uh, fights and uh, whatever they have uh, uh, had with with, uh, with, uh, with India, it was based on on Kashmir basically. So now with the sudden you know removal of Kashmir from the international agenda and annexation and the uh, you know abrogation, so Pakistan Pakistan army establishment was suddenly uh, out maneuvered you know initially. In the initial right. days, now actually they are they are actually you know, rebranding themselves and they are they are regrouping their their forces because otherwise, if there is no insurgency in Kashmir, the in in Pakistan the intelligentsia or or the uh, the people who really have some you know thinking left, they will question why we have to have a one million strong army which is eating the resources of the country. Right. So so this is a this is a dilemma for the Pakistan army. If they don't do the insurgency, they lose their own moral right to exist in, in their own country and to have you know access to so much of resources because then there is no other threat, uh, perceived threat rather. So this is one one reason. I would say as long as uh, uh, this um, uh, this mindset exists and this kind of a army, this side of a country which is actually being ruled and controlled and run by an army exists, the 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 insurgency or the insurgents entering from their side will not end because this is right. this is a question of their survival. Now it comes to how to fight that. So the basically, uh, I would I would say that you have to have more of a security and more of a prompt, uh, uh, you know, uh, repercussions on 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 those elements and those agents who are who 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 become part of it. It's it should not be only, it should not be only the one who actually fires a gun. It should also be the person who has aided or has given any kind of a moral sport, be that intellectual sport, be that uh, commercial sport, emotional sport, whatever, whatever kind of sport, they should also be you know, made a target. Right. So any element who are helping this kind of a narrative, which is, which is against, uh, which is anti-nationalist, anti-nation, anti anti-country, they should also be uh, you know, stopped from doing, and it should not, your your secularism should not come in the way to 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 actually combat those people. And secondly, uh, I would say more of an electronic security means. Plus, um, uh, we need to learn from how how um, 
you know there are pockets of uh, population which are which are densely uh, packed with one kind of a one kind of a uh, you know a religious group right so we need to learn from from the israeli um um uh, you know exper- experience for how they have done it so what they have done is that they have uh, they have actually um controlled the influx and you know movement in and out from those pockets of uh, uh, pockets of population where where there is a uh, large percentage of uh, you know insurgency comes from so if you are if you are able to you know stop their their movement and their uh, uh, their 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 movement from in and out and you have an you know close eye on it i think the the insur- and so insurgency there will be stopping the insurgency will be two ways one will be to to stopping from entering from outside so your 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 membrane should be thick enough that they cannot enter and the one who are inside you need to control them through different means it can be it is physical as well as it is a, a through through the media and and through education and especially uh the mosque and the sermons and uh, the the way uh, uh especially the juma congregation friday congregations are held and the way uh, you know uh, the the sermons are the, uh, being being uh, i don't know how 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 it is but this is a very huge source of uh, indoctrination as well as uh, you know putting the message across so these are the things if you if you control them and uh, definitely um, i would say that the pandits should not leave rather than uh, more more people would would stay there or come in so so to make uh, make the demography actually stay strong and and different and and uh, that's the that's the way to to control control this insurgency and then uh, obviously um hopefully in in the years to come i i can see the pakistan will balkanize you know i i think uh, balkanization of the pakistan would be in, in the interest of the peace in the whole whole world rather right. so i don't think that uh, with the the way they are going and the way they are uh, progressing it, it they are actually moving towards that they they cannot keep uh, you know such a huge country uh, totally running for for the military for how long ultimately their their um, their benefactors will dry up and and right. possibly possibly it will dismember and and that that will be uh, you know the step towards a ultimate peace in this region I, i believe please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel for our other social media links more content and to support our work please visit citti.net dhanyawad namaskar